I'm going to uh, demonstrate run configuration management on a Mac. So here I have an example project. I'll clean it. This removes all the uh, binary files. I'll build it. So I'm just demonstrating the build. Now uh, note how many warnings are, are flying by. They can be safely ignored. And uh, what's important is that this final uh, run of the compiler succeed uh, using the uh, the object binaries and producing uh, this executable file. That executable file is in this folder. If I try to run. Okay, I get this error message. So there's the executable. And what I need to do is go down to run as and go to my run configurations. Select C, C++ application. Create a new run configuration and then simply fill in the path to the uh, to the executable so that'll be o s space x slash h w 2 d dot e x e um, the space is important and the capitalization is important if you're uh, watching this and running on windows rather than having an os x folder you'll have a Windows folder, although uh, it often seems to be the case that uh, Windows uh, can create the run configuration automatically. Uh, it only seems to be necessary to create a, uh, a run configuration manually on, on the Mac. Okay, so that should be saved. Uh, so I'll ignore run here and uh, throw the dice and close. Uh, let's see, yes, I want to save those changes. Now if I go back and choose run as, it gives me the same problem. Uh, another thing to try is uh, running the program from up here. And that often works when uh, it doesn't work uh, working with the, uh, the Project Explorer. And so I can right click and hit the Q keyed. Um, and that's, that's uh, pretty much it in terms of uh, generating these run configurations. Hopefully uh, for each project you only have to do this once and then uh, it should, uh, particularly if you uh, do the run from here, once you've set up that run configuration, it should be selected for you automatically.